This video will present a study on using data generated from the Big GAN model for the purpose of data augmentation. Big GANs are one of the state of the arts in generative adversarial image synthesis. The images on this slide are completely generated from a Big GAN model. The dog, the mountain, the butterfly, and the cheeseburger are all completely imagined up by this generative adversarial network model. So the idea is can you replace or augment the original ImageNet data set by adding the data generated by this scan? It seems like it would work because you're able to generate novel dog images, novel cheeseburger images. Surely it's intuitive and it should work that if you add these images to the classifier, it'll learn a stronger decision boundary. So the first test in this study is to replace the ImageNet data with uh, big GAN generated ImageNet data. And the, so the different levels across this table are different values for the truncation trick, which is a sampling technique used in Big GAN specifically, where they uh, replace different uh, values along the Z vector if they fall outside the truncation range. And this is a trade-off between quality and diversity. So what they find is with the higher values of the truncation, which have higher diversity and lower quality, they get the best result by training the, with training an ImageNet classifier on it. But the most interesting part about the study is that the error between the model trained with ImageNet data only and the model trained with Big GAN generated data is way higher. You see the best model gets 57% top 1 compared to 26% and 34% top 5 compared to 7%. So even though they might look realistic, in terms of, from a classifier's perspective, the Big GAN generated data isn't very useful. So this plot shows the performance by class. Because across the 1,000 ImageNet classes, the accuracy of using the ImageNet versus Big GAN generated data varies. And these images of Squirrel, Monkey, and Fox, these are actually two of the classes that perform better with the Big GAN generated data than the ImageNet data. But only a marginal improvement, whereas some other classes are completely tanked by this method. So one other idea they tested was combining the ImageNet data and the Big GAN data for training. And this did actually result positively with a 3% relative improvement, so not plus 3% accuracy, but 3% better than the original result. And this is a marginal improvement, but it did come at the cost of one and a half times the training time, which is a pretty big cost. So this makes you question the evaluate, evaluation metrics used to evaluate GANs. Inception score and the inception distance, even though they're really high for the big GAN model, they don't perform well for this downstream task of data augmentation. So thanks for watching this video on using big GAN generated data for the task of data augmentation and improving ImageNet classification models. So thanks for watching again. Please subscribe to Henry AI Labs for more deep learning video videos. Also, the uh, paper link for this study is in the description.